What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're gonna talk about the Tesla bot and why this changes the financial trajectory of Tesla in the long run, significantly expanding their addressable market and really changing the fundamental mission of what Tesla is and how we can think about it as a company. Tesla, at their AI day, at the end of it, unveiled the Tesla bot, a humanoid robot, which some people were expecting, um, but is, is kind of blew my mind at the time, even though I made videos about how I thought it was gonna come out. Like, I just, it's still, I'm still processing what we saw there um, and how we're literally about on, to be on the cusp of living in this Black Mirror episode. Um, but how Tesla is changing from just being a company whose mission was to accelerate the transition off of fossil fuels to renewable energy by selling us electric cars, electric trucks, electric pickup trucks, all of that, and batteries and solar panels to, to power our home to truly an AI and robotics company. Because the truth is, many of the skills they're developing for a self driving car and what is basically a robot or semi sentient robot on wheels, the cars, my Model Y, is actually translatable to building a humanoid robot. So that's why it seems like it's out of the blue that Tesla's building this, but a lot of the stuff that goes inside that humanoid robot is already going to be in your car. And the bottom line is, this is a game changer because the trajectory of Tesla, they're really, in my opinion, solving $2 trillion problems here, the transportation problem and the energy problem. So when I think about my bull case investing in the company, the valuation right now is $750 billion. This is a company that said about a $50 billion revenue run rate, did about $1.3 billion in operating earnings last quarter. If we annualize that, that's about $5.2 billion in core earnings or intrinsic cash flow that the business could be pumping out um, it, at, at, when it's all said and done. And so that number is growing rapidly, but you think about this vehicle business how do we really fill into that $750 billion valuation? You know, we need to scale the amount of cars we're delivering to 20 million units. We need that profit per car to increase with more and more software as the full self-driving capabilities come out. There's a lot of building into that valuation. And I would say the upside of Tesla was sort of, in my opinion, capped at a couple trillion dollars with the products line that we had envisioned before. And so when you think about investing at a $750 billion valuation for the next five or 10 years to hit a couple trillion, that's maybe a 20 to 30% CAGR compounded annual growth rate on your capital. That's awesome. That's a, a awesome big cap tech stock. But now instead of that revenue plateauing at a trillion dollars, not that I think it would plateau, but really grow at a much more mature rate. Now we have unlocked with the Tesla bot, the next phase in 10 years of Tesla's growth that will absolutely shatter the roof or trajectory of what this company could be. So as a long-term investor, this has gotten me, you know, I've been holding all my Tesla stock, but I'm holding on even tighter than I ever have before, because now it's the, the trajectory of what Tesla will become of how the future unfolds has totally changed in my mind after seeing the Tesla bot. I mean, we're going through the, the great resignation right now in America. Nobody wants to work in so many of our jobs. They're either boring, repetitive, or dangerous. You're doing the same thing every single day. You're going into a factory, you know, wiggling that little wrench the same time every day. You're getting stress fractures. People are getting sick of these jobs. It's not maximizing human potential. And we talk about robots displacing a lot of what are called low-skilled jobs, which I think is kind of a misnomer. I think all jobs have a lot of skills, but that is what they're talking about, robots replacing. Um, I think that's going to unlock an incredible amount of human creativity and potential, you know? There's so many times throughout history where they're like, oh my God, like, you know, the laundry machine's coming out. Like, this is going to, we're going to lose all these jobs. Like, da-da-da. But this always happens, and I think it leads to something much greater. Like, um, I think what it's going to happen is it's going to unlock the ability for humans to do art, to focus on new creative tasks, to free up their time, to make money on cool different ways. And so this is an incredibly exciting new chapter for humanity where we're offloading so much boring, dangerous, and repetitive labor to these humanoid robots. And so the potential for this is staggering. We're going to talk about how hard it is in a second, but the potential for this is truly staggering. Just to crunch a little bit of numbers, if Tesla sells 100,000 Tesla bots in the year 2030, or I don't know, who knows how, when it'll be, um, for $250,000 a pop uh, to just buy your Tesla robot out, outright, that'll be 200, or that, that's $25 billion in revenue. So we're talking about a product that's single-handedly, and that's just a, you know 100,000. We're talking about replacing tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of workers. If Tesla sells, you know, a million of these, that's $250 billion in revenue potential. And so you start to think about how big of an opportunity this is. It instantly racks up into the trillions of dollars of market capitalization. Um, it's really going to come down to the machine that builds the machine for when this is ready. You know, um, A, you have to get this to work on a prototype scale, which is going to be hard enough. I think what Tesla is going to do is start at the factory level, start doing little tasks at the Tesla factory that are boring, that are dangerous, that are repetitive, and start getting the robots to be good at doing those. Slowly and slowly, that scope of what the robot can do will expand 
expand to more and more tasks, more and more people will get one, the cost will come down, they'll figure out how to build this thing at scale, they'll literally be like the craziest, most sci-fi factory pumping out all of these humanoid robots one by one and like they'll be like this robot army. So it's kind of a weird dystopian future, but it's the one that I feel like we need because we want humans to be focused on better things that are more creative. We want to get rid of these dangerous, boring jobs that people are doing that are monotonous, that are not maximizing human potential. Um, and frankly, we don't have enough humans to do all of these tasks if we want to live the way we live. Like we're all getting our DoorDash orders. We all want everything to happen at the press of a button. Um, the future is the robots are going to be doing all of that for us. And so I just see this is a crazy weird way that humanity is evolving that Tesla is going to take us there to. And although it may take 10 years for this to actually come out and be something that's walking around the world when your Tesla bot is walking your dog for you because you're too lazy or it's too cold out, um, I think it will happen and Tesla will be the company that does it because of one reason, give a shit factor, actually two, and pace of innovation. It's all tied in one and it's really Elon Musk. You have a leader at the helm who is pushing this technology, who is able to hire the best engineers in the world to incentivize them to work harder than anyone else and to create this technology and put it in a product like the Tesla bot. He has the vision to scheme this up. And so, I think all of this is going to add up to Tesla's the fastest pace of innovation in this robotics field. Yes, you have Boston Dynamics. Yes, you have Toyota working on robots. But I think Tesla's focus and ability to execute and bold leader and best engineering talent is going to lead them to be the best in class robot company. Um, they have the most factories going on where they can start automating these tasks. They have the self-driving car edge, which is going to lead to amazing computer vision technology. Also subsidizing in-house chip development, which is all making it easier for them to actually launch this humanoid robot. And then you're also like, Gally, wait, why does the, the robot have to look like a human? Um, I don't know. I've kind of been thinking about that. And I think it just boils down to like, all the tasks that we already do are being completed in a humanoid form. Like evolution has gone on for thousands of years and we're doing all these tasks and we look like humans. And so the best way to replace all these tasks that humans are doing is build a human. And so I think that will be extremely hard. Um, and I think there's a lot to this. And I think here's a moonshot idea, snap spectacles. This is what's in between the smartphone and Neuralink, right? And so what if Tesla launched some sort of smart glasses product, which allowed you to train with vision for certain tasks to help train the robot? I think that could be something that's in between here and the Tesla bot. I don't know. It's just a random idea I have. The point being here is that this has cha totally changed my future trajectory of how much earnings potential Tesla will have, what the addressable market is for this company, how they will impact humanity, and truly is, a, a in my opinion, the biggest moment in Tesla's history, in, in my following the company for almost actually like over 10 years now, that they've been so true and core to that mission um, since day one. And now the mission has expanded in scope and is changing a little bit. And so this is a truly trajectory defining moment for Tesla or AI day was. And the, the changing of their product lineup trajectory equals a changing in their cash flow trajectory as well. And I think it is a massive increase in the potential earnings and cash flow that Tesla will be able to create as a company. And the optionality of this robot working that would have never been priced in before should now be priced into the equity as they complete and progress towards actually manufacturing this product. And to me, this is the next level of upside of Tesla stock. This is why I'm hodling stronger than ever on my Tesla shares, because I think this is truly a game changer that will make Tesla, that will add trillions of excess dollars in market capitalization value when they're selling millions of robots at, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars price per unit, automating millions and tens of millions of jobs around the world. This is going to add trillions of dollars to market cap to Tesla. This is changing the upside trajectory from a 20 to 30% CAGR over the next five years to a 40 to 50% CAGR over the next 10 years if they can actually execute this. I just think that's super exciting. Um, oh, last thing. What does Elon want to do? Get us to Mars, right? He wants to colonize Mars, um, SpaceX, take us there, have human life be multiplanetary. I think such a big part of that is going to be having humanoid robots that can go to Mars first, that can explore these new planets first, that can do these more dangerous tasks, that can help us colonize space. And so in many ways, um, the, the lines of Tesla and SpaceX are getting even more blurred and connected in an amazing way. And I think that's a super exciting application of the Tesla bot is helping us colonize Mars. That's just a crazy weird moonshot to leave y'all with. Uh, final message to the Tesla Optimus robot in 2030 when you have become our supreme leader. Just wanted to say, huge fan, have been since today, 2021. Um, please l don't kill me. I just wanted to let you know I love what you're doing. Big fan of robots and you are definitely have as many emotions as us for sure. So yeah, 